This is a tutorial on how to make a stepladder for an inflatable boat. After researching the simplest and most user-friendly design, I went with this one. The ladder will connect to one of the D-rings inside the boat and will extend to the other side of the boat over the tube. I chose to use the far D-ring because it will evenly distribute weight along the D-ring patch. I chose to use nylon rope because it's soft and won't cause damage when rubbing against the boat. I chose a hockey stick for a step, but feel free to use whatever you want. Adding weight to the step is an optional procedure, but I thought it would help make it easier to locate the step. If you do decide to add rocks to the inside of your step, make sure to add silicone while adding rocks. This will prevent it from rattling. I don't know what the knot is called, so I thought I would show you instead. After each knot, be sure to check that both rope ends are the same length. If you follow it along this far, this is what you should have. Feel free to use whatever knot you want. This is just a temporary knot while I test the length in the water. After testing, I may be making adjustments, so it's a good idea to be able to untie it. And finally we're done, now to mount it on the boat. Notice the knots, it's a good idea to strategically place the knots so you can reach them while climbing in. Here's the ladder connected to the transom. As long as it's secure and able to hold you, you can connect it anywhere. On my boat, I ended up removing about 6 inches of rope from each end. From there, I tied a bunch more knots to increase the height of the step. This tutorial will give you a guide on how to build your own step, but since your boat and your height are different, it's important to test and make adjustments to best suit your situation. 